Great, thanks, Julie. So hopefully um, you've had a chance to read the questions. So Julie, if you wouldn't mind moving us to step two. Wonderful. So you should now be able to rank on the right hand side uh, each of the questions. So just let us know which one you're most interested in. Uh, maybe your second favorite and any that you're not so keen to discuss. Yeah, so you can rank it from high to low in terms of how you want to prioritize it. So just click on the right if you want to make it a high priority or click to the left of the center if you want to make it a lower priority. So we'll let you do that. Obviously, you're seeing my screen and I haven't voted, so I'll move us over to the results as soon as we uh, give it a couple seconds. If anybody's just got here, I'm just going to reshare the link to the group map. There we go. Um, and we're on the second step. So we're just ranking which questions we're most interested in <laughs> discussing. Yeah, I might mention it, yeah. Sorry, Samuel, I muted you because there was a bit of background noise coming through, but feel free to unmute if you want to uh, say anything. Okay, I think let's go to the results, Julie, please. Thank you. Oh, it's quite close. Okay, so um, Julie's just going to do a bit of organizing on the group map to make it easier for us to see. But what we're going to do now is um, take the, the most prioritized question, which is how can the CPHA community better engage and work with young people on the climate crisis agenda? Um, and just brainstorm on that topic. So you can make notes in a moment in the green section of the board um, or you're very welcome to come off mute um, and that would be really great if somebody could and discuss um, or to share in the chat if you if you can't unmute at the moment okay so we're focusing just on the green and the blue areas perfect could you zoom in a little bit julie just so we can see thank you Oh, were those the top two questions? They, oh, were they, hang on, sorry. <laughs> um, one second, my priorities didn't really stick. <laughs> my priorities didn't stick, sort by rating. That helps, sorry. So how can the CPHA, that was number one. And okay. what are our main was number two. So sorry about that. My positions yeah. didn't stick, okay. but now they should. Okay. I'm going to shrink uh, that. Well, no, <laughs> let me just focus on zooming in for a second. Let's do it this way because my hands are. So now we should be able to just add, um, add to the board. So if you click the little plus symbol above either of the questions, you can just add, add an idea there or, um, We'll come off mute and tell us and I can make some notes. Come on, what's my screen doing? There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you should be able just to click it next to the plus sign and add your ideas. Katie, I don't know, I can start us off maybe just with a couple of ideas. This is something that um, my name is Vanessa and I work at the International Institute for Child Rights and Development with Nadine, um, who was on the youth panel earlier today. And this is something that we're really wrestling with a lot in terms of how we can better engage with young people. And one of the things that we're starting out in term, terms of holding ourselves accountable is how can we work in partnership with young people on the issues that they're prioritizing? And what does that mean for us as adults in terms of getting in line or getting behind young people to address the key issues that they are um, working on? So one of the things that we're really talking about is how do we build a network, a stronger network with young people and across generations to really address some of these key issues. 
um, and really begin to take seriously what young people are saying, not only about climate action, but also around like issues of intersectionality and really how the, the movement itself is, is working and, and supporting. So one of the things that we're working on is a, a youth earth rights platform, which is ideally going to be a network to bring organizations and young people together in a meaningful way. So. Brilliant. Thanks, Vanessa. That sounds really interesting. I can see some more ideas popping up in the green section, which is great. I'm just going to check in the chat. Okay. If anybody else wants to come off mute and um, tell us a bit more about what you're adding, that would be great. What I see, engage youth in climate budgeting. Um, make youth actually feel like we're listening to them and taking their ideas seriously, not just for suggestions. Uh, just compensation for young people for their labour in these spaces, not just extracting suggestions from young people, but compensating where they are contributing in ways that their non-youth counterparts get paid for. Yeah, that's a really interesting one. Create space for ongoing discussion and collaboration. Invest in protecting youth activists in unsafe settings. Great. Sorry, I, honey here. Hi, honey. Just uh, want to play devil's advocate on that point about compensation on two fronts. One is the whole idea of of child labor and how how do we make sure that we we don't actually incentivize children, for example, not going mm -hmm. to school and um and and the second the second issue is this whole debate that exists um, on intrinsic motivation versus extrin extrinsic motivation. And there are, there's a lot of evidence um, that shows that in extrinsic motivation has the possibility, it's a very strong possibility of eroding intrinsic motivation. And um, so it's just a really tricky question. I don't disagree with the colleague who, who suggested that, but it's, uh, it's just the how to do it so that we don't potentially cause additional harm um, is a, is a Big question. Definitely. Thank you. A really great point. Two really great points. Um, I see somebody started brainstorming in the blue section. So this is the second question. What are, are our main opportunities and barriers to engaging with young people on the climate crisis agenda? So do feel free to, to get stuck in on question two as well. That would be, that'd be great. If anybody's struggling with the group map as well, you can always post in the chat and we can just um, move things over. That's not a problem at all. Hopefully this is everybody, everybody thinking really hard. That's why I don't hear anything. Okay, great. It was. Here are some things. Um, opportunities, continuity of solutions and co-creation allows generations to work together and sustain action rather than trying to clean up the mess of previous generations. Yeah. Including climate change and child protection and contextual analysis with exploring clear linkages. Great. Barrier in some areas, climate crisis is not an urgent topic for youth.
I see being careful not to co-opt their movement and messaging. I think that links back to some of the recommendations we heard from um, the youth activists earlier, talking about engaging them as full partners. Um, Areas, lack of safety for youth climber, climate activists in some settings, technocratic engagement, putting young people in the room to check off a box rather than for meaningful engagement. Yeah. Any ideas on how we get around that, which we would maybe put in our green, our green section? So how do we make sure it's not box ticking? I can just speak to that. Um, hopefully. Oh, I didn't realize <laughs> <laughs> you were here. <laughs> Amazing. Uh -huh. Um, I'd say inclusion at the, like throughout the process of things. So not just at the, you know, at the tail end of a process, but rather all throughout, um, from ideation onward for it can apply to a number of things. Great. We've got um we've got just under 10 minutes left and there are a few more steps that we're going to do after this so we've maybe got uh three three two or three minutes left for for this part of the activity so any any last friday afternoon ideas that you want to get on the board that would be great I see some new barriers. So barriers, industry and government working hand in hand for one another and not for the well-being of children. Adults are used to getting their way and they often think they know better. We need to give power if we want to meaningly, meaningfully engage with young people. Yeah, struggling to read aloud on Friday afternoon. Seeing lots of barriers. Anybody got any ideas for opportunities? So new barrier, well, not new barrier, but newly added barrier, adult ego. And um, dialogues with policymakers can be both opportunities and barriers. I see Nadine smiling at the adult ego. <laughs> Opportunity, great. Conviction of young people. Brilliant. I think I missed one earlier, actually. Support global youth networks who work on the climate crisis agenda, peer learning and exchanges. Is that an opportunity or would that go in the green section or maybe both? Is that part of how we could better engage and work with young people?
Okay, the next step was that we were going to group the ideas. I don't know that we've got that many that are similar, but let's have a go anyway. So Julie, if you wouldn't mind taking us to the next step, wonderful, thank you. Um, and then if I remember right, the way this works is if you see two that you think are very similar, you can click the tick next to them and we can group them together under one title just to get a bit organized. So if you see any that, um, the overlap. Yeah, looking on both sides, right? So ones that overlap in the green what column and ones that overlap in the blue. Lovely. Yeah. And if you want me to group them for you, just shout out, unmute, let me know which ones you'd like grouped. Sorry, I'm not sure if it's I'm following there. I don't. Oh, do I need to refresh? Are you if at the top sure. is is your um? There's a, a string of blue words right at the top left. Just check that you're on group, and group is the one that's highlighted in orange. No, I am in group, but it doesn't show me the option of clicking. There should be a little tick mark, Hanny. Yeah, it's not there. Oh no, it says only facilitators can group. Okay, well you can oh, just. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, let us know. What do you want to group? <laughs> okay, I wanted to group um, the one that says Iguav, um, Iguav adults with the one that says adults are used to getting their way. Uh, yes. Sorry, are you in the blue? On the, on the right side, yes, on the, in the blue. Yeah, I've done that. I grouped them as balanced. Oh, yeah. Okay, you did. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Sorry. I think we might have had two about... Um, the safety of children. Did I imagine that? Yeah, there's one in the green and one in the blue on safety. Uh, okay. Okay, that might be all of our grouping. Um, oh, hang on, let me just check what's in the chat here. While well, you take one final look at the grouping, don't mind what I'm doing on screen. In fact, I'm going to stop sharing for a second because I'm going to rejig the screen again so that we can focus on the final brainstorm step. So great. Um, so what's going to happen when the board comes back is that we're going to think about ways forward. So based on the discussion, based on the comments, maybe is a better word, um, what specifically should the Alliance be working on and taking forward so um there'll be the orange section is going to get bigger and you'll be able to add some ideas in there there might be another grouping just around thinking about like the program life cycle um because there's some chat about that are we in green or blue vanessa sorry i was thinking in the some comments in green Okay. Around budgeting and advocacy and yeah, great. Also in green, there is one that says build a stronger network with young people and create space for ongoing discussion and collaboration. Great. All right, Katie, let me know when you're ready for me to uh, take us into brainstorming. I am ready, thank you. Oh, lovely, okay, so now you should see um, the orange section at the top with lots of space for lots of ideas. So based on, based on this, what are the best ways forward? Specifically, what should the Alliance be working on and prioritizing? So again, feel free to come off mute and tell us what you think or um, add some ideas straight onto the board. I think there's like there's something to be said for um, 
planning around how organizations are going to be do this to be doing this because I think you know participation is hard um, for many groups and then when we look at climate action it's also a new area for many NGOs and INGOs um, so having some coordination and planning around how this work takes place and some really practical um, toolkits. I mean, there's some great toolkits developed by young people um, that help guide adults on how to do this kind of work and sort of maybe bringing in a group of young people to be part of that sort of um, the guidance on how and how this all moves forward would be interesting. Great idea. I'm going to add that. I think, Julie, did you tell me we're going to do four more minutes? So it says we've got 16 seconds, but we've got a couple. Yeah, ignore that. I'm going to try and catch it before it tries to close us down and give us four more minutes per the request of the other rooms. Hi, Katie, maybe one aspect of this is um, centering some learning or sharing of experiences like from different organizations on these topics so generate a learning stream mm. or like a sharing of experiences yeah stream type of thing where yeah. maybe you could also be engaged yeah that sounds great i've added that in the list just in case would be good also maybe to understand more of what this learning should feature more appropriately so that we serve our partners better. What do you mean to, to understand the learning needs a bit more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we've also got co-create a stream of work on climate change justice with young people. Um, the one about bringing young people to be part of guidance development. Highlighting the intersectionality of CP and climate crisis. I can't say these big words anymore. I've run out of, I've run out of steam. Um, youth, Earth, youth Earth Rights Platform for Intersectoral and Intergenerational Network Building. Consult and engage young people steadily throughout and be accountable to them, yeah. I don't know, there is one thing which keeps on popping to my mind and I'll just speak because I don't know if it is actually a point, an idea, it's not very, um, it's not materializing well yet. And it's around, uh, giving um, space like to youth activists like in the form perhaps like of an advisory group like somewhere or maybe reviewing some of the action points that will be uh, setting up like with us along the way how far we have gone etc so something around those lines but <laughs> I think I need more time in my brain to process it <laughs> the note just for now but um yeah that's great and we've also got ensure that girls are strongly represented as part of youth engagement sustain movement builders with funding or support with sourcing funding map innovations methodologies and engaging with youth and climate issues yeah that's a great idea okay julie how are we doing for time Julie? I think you're muted. Muting is, unmuting is, you know, useful. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to move everybody into the ranking step now. Um, so if you can rank these, uh, if you click on the right hand side, you'll see that it will let you rate on two dimensions. You can rate on if you think it's 
high impact, low impact, or high fee highly feasible or low feasible. So um, just click on the right hand side. And you'll you'll be able to say, oh, you know, develop materials for humanitarian actors to better engage with youth, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, rate how you would say on impact versus feasibility. So everybody go through that step, try and get through as many as you can. <laughs> I'll go by our group because I'm going to close them manually anyway. So um, when we're done, we'll, <laughs> we'll ask all the other groups to be done. <laughs> Just a quick point, there are some really great ideas, but it's more like st stages of a process. So maybe the impact won't necessarily be very high at that moment, but it's very important for sort of the next step. So I've kind of put those as a bit neutral. I'm not sure if it will sway the, um, the findings, but yeah. Thanks, Elspeth, that's a good point. I think what we're gonna see is the total I think it will take both scales into account when it shows us the results on the next page. Um, might have got that one there. And then there are some things like engaging girls, which then should, and like the focus on girls, which then maybe should happen in all of the, all of the steps, you know, it's not a standalone mm. action. Yeah. But there's some yeah. great suggestions. So what we're gonna do is um, from these results, we're gonna take the top, three back to just um, feedback in the plenary, but obviously the Alliance will take a good look at all of the, all of the suggestions. Shall I uh, bring us all to results now then? Let's see what, see where we're at? Okay, so rating on impact and visibility, uh, feasibility, visibility. Uh, the highest highlighting the intersectionality of CP and climate crisis. Ensure that girls are strongly represented and bring in youth people to be part of the guidance. Okay, what I'm going to do is make this super huge. First, I will take myself to takeaways while you can all have a look at that. <laughs> and we're going to do a little bit more shrinking here. <laughs> this is so that uh, everybody else, when we go back to the plenary, can focus just on our big points. but I can still see them. Okay, so. Oi, where'd they go?
There we are. Okay. <laughs> Click the wrong button before. Great. Okay. So I am going to remove so everybody can actually be wherever they want. But we will focus on the takeaways when we go back to plenary. Anything anybody else want to add before we return? Just to say that this would be a great step forward if we can co if we can collaborate a bit more on this. Yeah, thanks Vanessa, that'd be great. Okay. At the, other, at the, other, at the other point, Kate is still gonna be visible just because I think the top trees are great, but I think like for our own like exploratory thing, like it would be nice to have a record of the other ones as well. Yes, they're all still on the previous page. They just won't be visible. Cool. They're not shown on the takeaways page, okay. um, just to the parents, but we've got them all safe and sound. Yeah. Yeah, there are some great l and suggestions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So I think, Julie, we're all going to leave the room and go back to the plenary now, is that Yeah, right? yeah. I'm not going to close them because one of the rooms is still going strong. Okay, great. So if everyone just hits the blue leave room button at the bottom right, then we will meet back in the plenary. All right. See you all back there soon. Thank you, everyone.